Hey guys and welcome back on Gaming Webful. So today I have a pretty exciting unboxing for you guys. Here I have the Alienware 17 R3 which came out about three weeks ago so it's fresh off the factory and we're gonna take a look at it. Alright so the box itself is very simple you've got a black finish which is really cool looking and you've got the Alienware head logo uh, that's looking directly into your eyes and it's just waiting to be opened. So without further ado, let's open the box. So you don't need any tools or knives for this unboxing. You, simple, you simply push this through and you lift the cover. All right, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Here you simply have your power bar with your power cable. Nothing too exciting. Um, when you first open uh, the box, uh, you're greeted with, of course, your notebook, which is really tightly sealed in it. Uh, you got a nice thick layer of foam uh, that prevents it from moving around. So a uh, really good job on the packaging side from Alienware. All right, so let's take it out of the box. Let's see how heavy it is. Well, of course it's gonna be on the heavy side, but for a 17 inch gaming notebook, it's actually pretty light, I'm quite surprised. Um, and of course, underneath the laptop, you've got your uh, usual uh, documentation. So here you have your quick start guide, which you'll never use, and some more warranty information that's probably uh, gonna go in the garbage. All right, so the box aside, let's take a quick look at the laptop itself. Uh, first of all, you've got a nice aluminum chassis, uh, which is really, really sleek looking with the Alienware head right here. So it's a, overall, it's a very good looking uh, laptop, as you can see for yourself. When it comes to the ports, on the left side, you've got your power uh, jack. You've got a lock, noble lock, I think. Uh, so you can uh, lock and unlock your laptop mechanically, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you've got two USB 3.0s and microphone and audio jacks. When it comes to the back of the laptop, you've got your graphics amplifier uh, port. So you can use this obviously with the Alienware graphics amplifier. And you've got an HDMI 2.0 port as well as your vents. Finally, on the right side of the laptop, you'll find a 3.1 media card reader, a Thunderbolt 3.0 port, which is a very nice addition from Alienware on this Revision 3, and a, another USB 3.0 port, and obviously an Ethernet port. Uh, underneath the laptop, you've got your uh, cooling grills, so air is gonna be uh, taken from underneath the laptop and blown out from the rear. Also right here you have a subwoofer from Klipsch Audio. Uh, Klipsch is the company which makes the audio for this uh, laptop. It's a very high-end uh, audio company, so that's a very nice feature from Alienware. Right here you have a removable cover, so you can access your RAM, your SSD, your HDD and upgrade it if you want. One really cool feature with this notebook is that the speakers are actually facing you, so you're provided with a more immersive, a more enjoyable audio experience. All right, so without further ado, let's open up the beast itself and let's see what unveils. All right, so the first thing that really struck me is the matte finish screen, which looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh, because of it, you won't get any glare from the sun, from the lights. So it's a very cool feature from Alienware. Uh, with the 17 inch version, you get a full size keyboard, of course. You get uh, some macro keys, a full size numpad and uh, that really adds to the full immersive experience. So the touchpad on this notebook is actually not centered, it's a bit more to the left. Uh, it probably has to do with ergonomics, I'm not sure. I'll have to test it out, try it out, and I'll uh, talk about it in my full review. 
Of course, you still have some features that are reminiscent of Alienware. Uh, you've got the light effects, which I will cover in the full review. You've got uh, a nice, uh, unique design, which is uh, very, very good looking. And overall, you've got a beautiful laptop on your hands. Again, this laptop isn't too heavy. It's actually thinner than I expected. Uh, one reason why is that they opted out of the optical drive game. So I think that's a nice leap into the future from Alienware. Optical drives are uh, a bit um, useless nowadays. You can buy your games online and uh, Blu-rays uh, are not that much used in my uh, in my own experience, I tend to buy my movies online, so uh, I have no problem uh, not having an optical drive. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this quick unboxing and first look. Of course, the full review will be up in a few weeks. Uh, I'll be testing out some games, I'll be installing a uh, brand new M.2 SATA SSD. So stay tuned for all kinds of videos. Of course, it's not only going to be on this computer. I have other stuff coming. So I hope you're excited for that. Uh, this channel was dead for a year or two. Now it's uh, coming back to life. And I hope you guys will be part of this rebirth. So again, thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe. Hit that like button. And till next time, guys. Take care.